Right, today we're going to work on multiple choice questions from your OCRA uh, exam paper from 2021. I thought it would be a good idea because a lot of people don't know how to answer multiple choice questions, they just guess it. So, and because the paper doesn't explain how to do it, I decided to help you. I hope this is going to be helpful for you. So the first thing you ought to do is just ask question number one. Which statement describes electronegativity? You have to know the definition of electronegativity. So a measure reactivity of an element, that's incorrect. Ability of an atom to attract electron become minus one. Now that is incorrect. And then you have abstraction of a bonded atom to electrons a covalent bond. That's the correct one. So C is the correct one. Number two, a chlorate seven, uh, seven ion has a minus one's charge, which is a form of sodium chlorate. So how you do that is very simple. You do um, sodium, Cl, O. So if it says it is seven, that means chlorine is plus seven. If chlorine is plus seven, then you have plus one for sodium, which is group one. That means that you need four oxygens, because oxygen is minus two. Four times minus two is minus eight, and that's plus eight. So the formula has to be that, which is B. Right, the next question is, number three, is the, un the un unbalanced equation of the reaction silver with concentrated nitric acid shown below. So which is the Ag, which for the Ag, which are the numbers for Ag in water? So how you do, you need to balance according to oxidation numbers. So, so if you go here and you say that goes from zero and Ag is plus one. So that's a change, only plus one difference because it goes from zero to plus one, okay? So then you say NO3 is actually plus five. Oxidation number for ammonia, uh, for nitrogen is plus five. And if you go all the way here, it changes to plus four. No, plus two, okay? So the difference from plus five to plus two, two is minus three. So then you have to balance to make it equal. So because that's plus one, if you multiply by three, it becomes three. And then you multiply this by one, it becomes one. So now you know you need for from here from here to here, you need three. So it's gonna be three here, three silver. Um and three silver yeah um so you have because you got three here you got three here anyway there's three three okay then you have this one it goes from five to plus two all right so then you have to put here the difference is one okay because you haven't um you don't have to balance because it's only a difference of one so now you balance oxidation numbers now you balance the rest so you say i got one nitrogen I've got three silvers, I've got uh, three oxygen, so I'll put three, no, there's one here, so it becomes two, so I'll put two waters here. So it'll be two oxygens plus one makes three, and I think, and hydrogens, you got four, so it'll be four H plus. So the answer to, to that for Ag is three, and water is two, okay? So the answer here is D that you have to do it the next bit here is number four um you got which sample contains the greatest number of moles all you have to do is work out the moles of each one of them so i'll just go 140 divided by 26 for the first one then you got 180 divided by 30 which equals to six that one equals to 5.38 and then the third one is 240 divided by 58 which is the mr of that which gives you 4.138. And then the fourth one is 400 divided by 78, which gives me 5.128. So if you multiply everything by the, um, by the Avogadro's constant, you'll know that this one here, it will give you, because they all give you the same uh, ratio, um, is the biggest, is the biggest one okay so it gives you which some of the greatest numbers of molecules so it's going to be b you have to work on your uh, multiple choice questions you have to think chromium three oxide 
Um, this is question five, and it says chromium triacetate is reduced by chromium by heating magnesium, which is the minimum mass of ma magnesium is to reduce that. You need to know the ratio, okay? So you just say, if you got chromium two oxide goes to chromium, then you have, you know that's reduced, okay? So because it's going to get any electrons in here. So then you have magnesium, who is oxidized. So it comes to magnesium two plus. So if you balance this equation, it'll give you um, plus three waters. And remember to balance chromiums. And then it gives you plus six hydrogens. Therefore, you need six electrons to balance. Here will be two. So that means that the magnesium has to be multiplied by three to make six electrons. So the total ratio is Cr2O3 times, no times, plus 6H plus, plus three magnesium goes to 2Cr plus Mg2 plus, plus three H2O. Okay, okay, so let's carry on with this. So we got the ratio that is one to three. So if you know the um if you know the moles of um if you work out the moles, let me just work out how I do that. So work out the moles of um magnesium. You got this right? Hold on. So the so the next bit here, because you know the moles of chromium oxide is uh, 11.4 grams divided by 152, which is a molar mass, that'll give you 0 0.075 moles of chromium oxide. Because you know the moles of chromium oxide, moles of magnesium is three times 0 0.075. Okay, and then you multiply um, by MR of magnesium and it should give you the minimum mass so three times 0 0.075 times 24.3 will give you um 5.47 so the answer is d okay hope that's helpful question six a student supply with 100 centimeters of a solution 0 0.4 so what you need to do is magnesium iodide. A student plans to dilute the solution so that the iodide concentration is this. So you're talking about iodide concentration. So if you say you got magnesium two plus plus I minus goes to magnesium iodide. So if you start by calculating moles of magnesium iodide, which is this one here. So you got moles of MGI2 equals to, um, what's that? It will be 0 0.4 times 100 divided by 1000, which gives you 0 0.04 moles of magnesium iodide. Because the ratio is 1 to 2, so moles of I minus equals to 2 times 0 0.04. Okay, which equals to 0 0.08 moles. Once I know the moles, so you do moles, 0 0.08 equals to concentration. That's we need to find out. Now, a concentration which is 0 0.25, sorry about that. Concentration 0 0.25 times volume divided by 1,000. So if you go 0 0.08 times 1,000, divided by 0 0.25, it should give you uh, 320. Then you know that you already start with 100, okay? So how much water you need to add? So you go 320 minus 100, which gives you 220. So the answer is C. So it's not a straightforward question, so you need to work on that. This one, which row the elements in order to increase ionization? So you've got calcium, silicon, phosphorus, and nitrogen. That's the A. So you just work out through group two, group four, group five. And those two are in different periods. So that one is period three and I think period four. Period two or period four. I, can't remember. I have to check. But that is the answer to that. Bond enthalpies are given in the table below. So what you got? You got the bond enthalpy. And I'm just sorry. I'm just looking for our done. So it's bond enthalpy is bonds broken, for people who don't know that, minus 
bonds formed. So basically, reactants minus products. So if you calculate reactants minus products, which is four times HS, HS, which is 346, because there's HS in HS2, there's two lots, so it have to be four times, plus three times, do we say three times oxygen? 498, all that minus SO. So SO2 looks like that. So you got two lots of SO. So if you say he's got two, so you need four times 531 plus four times 464. So the answer to that is going to be, if you work it all out, it gives you minus 1102. And the answer is going to be B. Okay? So they are very hard questions. You need to work through them. Right, let's carry on. Question two, six. Let me just see if I don't go. Sorry, that's my papers. Let's do question seven. No, where are we? We done question eight, so let's do question nine. So to answer the question nine is uh, B, because you have to look at here. So when you look at that, you say you got one mole of this, you got one mole of this, you got zero zero. So the the you got two moles to zero to two moles. Okay, so you got so you is going to go that way, isn't it? Actually, if they all gas, so you got the same number of moles, there's no moles in there, so it's going to go towards the right hand side. Second one, you got one mole of this, and it got zero mole of this, so those two needs to go towards the left to form more of this. If you form more of this, it's going to add more of that too. So if you have this one here, one mole, one mole, the the, the equilibrium will shift to the right hand side to produce more of this. But here, equilibrium shifts left hand side to produce more of this. But because you start here from zero, you 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 make up the same your starting point but here you're starting with one so whatever you make is going to be extra so therefore the answer is b right for this one here question 10 question 10 you got an extra solution of ethanoic acid uh, as a concentration 0 0.5 pka blah 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 so what you do first you work out the um i mean okay hold on Right, so what you do first, you work out um, the weak acid re uh, reaction, which is Ka equals to H plus squared, divided by your acid, CH3, COOH. So you work out Ka, so Ka is going to be uh, 10 to the minus 4.76, yeah? So, and which is going to equal to 1.7378 times 10 minus 5, that's your Ka. Your concentration, so you've got 1.7378 times 10 minus 5 times your um, concentration here, which is 0 0.5. It'll give you H plus squared um, of H plus squared, 8.6, I think, 8, 9 times 10 minus 6. Then your squared root of it, so you take your H plus, your square root of that, and you get 2.6. 9, 5 times 10 minus 3, and then you take the pH, which is minus log of H plus ions concentration, so the pH gives you 2.53, which is answer A. Okay, so you got to do like that. So 11, uh, for question 11 is A, because this is delta H, so it's positive, positive. Uh, no, 11 is A? Yeah, 11 is A. Okay. So it says sign of feasible high temperatures, because that's only feasible high temperatures. That one is, yeah, for this, when you have delta H and delta S positive, it's only feasible high temperatures because delta H, if it is endothermic and that one, that means it needs energy. But if you create energy of that, so you need to have extra temperature put in. So the answer is A. Two redox systems. It says here, which system is reduced a strong oxidizing agent? So oxidizing agent is reduced itself. So if it is reduced, gains electrons, okay, and also is less negative or more positive, okay. So it's the most positive, 
it gains electrons. This one is gaining electrons here. So therefore the answer is Cu2 plus. So it's this one here, C. Right, we're almost finishing. So I've got to go, do a, a three more. So the last one here, the last three one is that induced, so which setting to trend the boiling points the halogen group is always based in London forces. So for question um, 13 is only D. Which statement about the molecule is correct or are correct? So it's not a polar molecule because it, they dipoles cancel out. It's a symmetrical molecule. So it contains six pairs of electrons. So we got one, two, three, four. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's got six long pairs of electrons. He has a bond angle 180, which is correct. That one there, because it's a straight line. So it's going to be um, two and three only. So it's C. Okay. And then the last one is is a such is um, a student analyzer double salt using test tubes. Uh, which draw gives the correct result for the stated um, for the stated test. So you got reaction with cold sodium hydroxide green precipitate that doesn't, ha doesn't happen. Um, reaction with barium nitrate that means you react with sulf sulfate there. It gives you white precipitate that happens. Reaction with warm sodium hydroxide gives you reddy brown precipitate and alkaline gas. That means you form Fe three iron and you form also ammonium ammonium gas um so it has to be this one here so it's with two and three so the answer is c as far as i can see right that was a long long one but i've done all your um 2021 paper question exam um multiple choice questions so i hope that this is helpful and keep working hard and thank you